Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Clase 32. Class 32. Let's go! Beginner. Bienvenidos. Welcome. Welcome to class 32. Yes, bienvenidos. Aquí estamos en la clase 32, empezando con un repaso. Hemos visto ayer en clase adjetivos posesivos. Possessive adjectives. Y hemos visto my y your. Para decir, y, y hemos visto que no varían según nos referimos a un objeto singular o plural, que es muy importante. Entonces, this is my pen. These are my pens. That is your book. Those are your books. These are my pencils. This is my pencil. That is my pencil. Those are my pencils. Okay? This is my cat. Mi gato. Yes. This is my cat. These are my cats. Those are my cats. That is my cat. Es mío. That's my cat. Yes. And in English, ¿qué dicen los gatos? En inglés, digamos que los, los gatos dicen miau. 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 Ese sonido, sí, miau. And, and the dogs? This. This is Fitz's dog. This is Fitz's dog. This is his dog. Es suyo. Su de él. This is his dog. This is his dog. These are his dogs. ¿Y qué dicen? What do dogs say in English? They say, rough, rough, or, or they bark. Ladran, they bark. Rough, rough, or woof, woof. <laughs> yes. Porque en, en español, los, los perros en España dicen, wow, wow, ¿no? Wow, como en, en inglés, wow, es como, qué guay, wow. Pero en inglés... Los perros hablan también inglés, y, bueno, hablan en... <ríe> sí, hablan, bueno, de una manera distinta, porque dicen bar, bueno, rough, rough, o bow, wow, sí. <ríe> And, uh, y las gallinas que dicen en español, kikiri, kiri, ¿no? <ríe> They say in English, the rooster says, cock a doodle doo. Cock a doodle doo. Right. <laughs> okay. Aquí, mira, es mío. This is my television. Oh, there I pero hay dos. These are my televisions. These are my televisions. Those are your televisions. This is my radio show. This is our. Bueno, es, es nuestro. This is our radio show. Yes, thank you for listening. This is our radio show. This is my pencil. Aquí, bueno, es mi lápiz. This is my pencil. That's your book. Is that your book? Yes, it is. Yes, Kyle, it's my book. Okay. This is my lighter. Well, is is this my lighter? Aquí tengo un mechero. Is, is this my lighter or your lighter, Alberto? Well, Kyle, it's your lighter. Oh, gracias. Yes, it's it's my lighter. It's not Alberto's lighter. It's my lighter. It's not your lighter. It's my lighter. Is that your dog or my dog? It's my dog. Is that your cat or Natasha's cat? It's Natasha's cat. It's her cat. It's her cat. It's not my cat. It's her cat. Mm. Okay. Let's move on. Vamos a practicar números. Numbers. Numbers. Okay. Great. To pr it's a very important to practice numbers. Okay, so now we're going to practice um, a little review, un repaso de los números um, entre 
100 y, y mil. Between, between 100 and 1,000. The good news is it's easy. Don't worry. It's easy. So if you missed the show yesterday, the program, if you did not listen, si no escuchaste ayer, if you didn't listen yesterday, I will explain again. What's important is the pronunciation of hundred and. One hundred and twenty-three. Two hundred and fifty-six. Four hundred and sixty-seven. If you can count to one hundred, then you can count to one thousand. It's very, it's very, very simple. All you do is say the number hundred and twenty-five, fifty-six, sixty-seven. So, we will count. Yesterday we counted from one hundred to one hundred and twenty. Ayer contamos de cien hasta ciento veinte. Ahora vamos a practicar hasta ciento cincuenta, ¿vale? Up to one hundred and fifty. One hundred and twenty. One hundred and twenty-one. Conmigo. One hundred and twenty-two. One hundred and twenty-three. One hundred and twenty-four. One hundred and twenty-five. Five. Five. In casa? One hundred and twenty-five. Muy bien. One hundred and twenty-six. One hundred and twenty-seven. One hundred and twenty-eight. One hundred and twenty-nine. One hundred and thirty. One hundred and thirty-one. One hundred and thirty-two. En voz alta. Conmigo, en voz alta. One hundred and thirty-three. One hundred and thirty-four. One hundred and thirty-five. One hundred and thirty-six. Conmigo. Up to, we will go up to, hasta, hasta, up to one hundred and fifty, okay? One hundred and thirty-seven. One hundred and thirty-eight. One hundred and thirty-nine. One hundred and forty. One hundred and forty-one. One hundred and forty-two. One hundred and forty-three. One hundred and forty-four. One hundred and forty-five. Conmigo, conmigo. I think o más, solamente. One hundred and forty-six. Eso es. One hundred and forty-seven. One hundred and forty-eight. One hundred and forty-nine. And finally, last but not least, one hundred and fifty. Muy bien. Okay. Luego más. Vamos, otro día practicamos más los números. No te preocupes. Vamos a seguir con números otro día. Okay, let's move ahead. Let's go on. Word of the day. Ooh, yes, it is time for our word of the day. Nuestro, nuestro palabra del día. That's right, the word of the day. Saltar. ¿Cómo se dice? Saltar. To jump. 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 Okay, con la P. Jump. Eso es. Jump. J y j, j, j. No, no es yump. Y yump, eso no vale. Y y no, 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 no. J, 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 the J. La J. Mi amigo La J. Michael J. Fox. Michael J. Fox. J. Okay, Michael J. Fox. J, J. Okay, j, jump. Pronunciamos en inglés. Eso es muy interesante. Pronunciamos ese, ese sonido de la J. Como un CH. Ch, 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 ch. Casi, casi. No es justo. Porque en casa está diciendo, Kyle, no. Mentira, mentira. No se pronuncia así. Pero, pero escúchame. ¿Ok? Pronunciamos ese sonido así, pero luego hay que vocalizar el sonido. Porque la CH no se vocaliza. Ch, ch, ch. El sonido sale de mi boca, pero no estoy moviendo mis cuerdas vocales. Entonces, si, si muevo las cuerdas, tengo ch, 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 jump. Michael J. Fox. 
y, y también si quiere decir George Bush con la G. G, G, G George Bush George Bush and Michael J. Fox George Bush Jr. Ese sonido. J, J, J. Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lewis. Ben and Jerry. Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Ben and Yeti. Yeti no vale. No, 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 no. Nunca. Nunca. Jerry. Jerry. Si digo cereza. Cherry. Cherry. Es casi igual. Pongo vocalizo. Vocalizo ese sonido. Cherry. J, 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 Jerry. Es igual. J, j, Jerry. No es Yeti. Y, uf, odio ese sonido de Yeti. No, 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 no. Jerry. Aquí tenemos la palabra jump. Our word of the day, jump. Saltar, jump, jump, jump. Three, three times en casa, tres veces. Jump, jump, jump. Muy bien. Ok, time to practice now. El geni genitivo sajón. The Saxon genitive. Yes, the Saxon genitive, folks. Very important. Este es el bolígrafo de María. This is María's pen. No problem. Este es el teléfono de María. This is María's telephone. Este no es la silla de María. This is not. Or this isn't María's chair. Este no es el perro de María. This isn't Maria's dog. ¿Aquellos son los bolígrafos de Carlos? Are those Carlos's pens? Are those Carlos's pens? No, they aren't Carlos's pens. Hmm. Oh. Aquí, ooh. ¿Y los perros? Are those... Are those Fitz's dogs? Excuse me, are those Fitz's dogs? Yes, they're Fitz's dogs. ¿Y los gatos? Are those Natasha's cats? Excuse me, are those Natasha's cats? Yes, they're Natasha's cats. David. David has a very strange pet. Tiene un, tiene un, una mascota muy raro. Un elefante. He has an elephant. David has an Is that, is that David's elephant? Excuse me, is that David's elephant? Yes. It's David's elephant. Qué raro, ¿no? Que tiene un elefante. Es verdad. He has an elephant. Are those my books? Are those Kyle's books or are they Richard's books? Son míos. They're, they're your books, Kyle. They're Kyle's books. They're not Richard's books. They're Kyle's books on the table. Mm. Yes. Are those Layla's pens or are they Carly's pens? They're Layla's pens. They're not Carly's pens. They're Layla's pens. Ask me if they're Layla's pens. Are, are they Layla's pens? Yes, they're Layla's pens. Yes, they are. Vocabulary of the day. Ooh, yes, it is time for the vocabulary of the day. The vocabulary are five words of the day. Oscuro. Oscuro. The first word, oscuro. ¿Cómo se dice eso en, en inglés? Pues eso, muy bien. Dark. Dark. It's getting dark. It's d ya, ya, es oscuro. ya está oscuro. It's dark. Mm. Ejemplo. Example. Example. Archivo. Expediente. File. 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 File como file, pero file. File. Mm-hmm. I have many files. Mm, y archivar pu puede ser un verbo to file. I'm filing my documents. Filing papers. Filing a report. Y suelo? Floor. Floor. My feet are on the floor. Okay? Cuando, está dent cuando estoy dentro de un edificio, es el suelo, y digamos suelo, es floor. Pero si está fuera, digamos ground. The ground. The ground. Está fuera, the ground. Indoors, en la casa, floor. ¿Vale? Y luego también hay soil. Soil, que es como tierra, que es suelo um, 
para, para, para cultivar plantas. Por ejemplo, en el jardín, there is soil. In the garden, there is soil to plant uh, and, and to grow flowers and plants and vegetables. Mm. Viernes, my favorite day. My favorite day of the week. Viernes. ¿Cómo se llama? Friday. T-G-I-F. Thank goodness. O puede ser también thank God. Gracias a Dios. Thank God it's Friday. Es viernes. Por fin. Aquí estamos. It's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Como el restaurante. T-G-I Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Eso, eso es. All right, it's time now to practice one of my favorite tenses. Yes, the present continuous. ¿Otra, otra vez? Kyle, ¿otra vez? Pues sí, otra vez. Una vez más, porque es muy interesante. Y es divertido practicar eso, ¿no? Ok. Aquí, bueno, vamos a practicar con un nuevo verbo, que es señalar. Estoy señalando, I'm pointing at. Ok, I'm pointing at. Bueno, ask me. Ask me what I'm pointing at. Ask me what I'm pointing at. Y es verdad, no, 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 no te voy a contar ninguna mentira. Okay? I'm not going to lie to you here. I'm telling the truth. I'm not a liar. Ask me what I'm pointing at. What are you pointing at? What are you pointing at, Kyle? I'm pointing at a map. Ask me if I'm pointing at a map of Europe. Or a map of North America. Are you pointing at a map of Europe? Or a map of North America? I'm pointing at a map of North America. Ask me if I'm pointing at a map of Mexico. Are you pointing at a map of Mexico? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Ask me if I'm pointing at a map of the United States. Are you pointing at a map of the United States? Hmm. No, I'm not. Ask me if I'm pointing at a map of Canada. Are you pointing at a map of Canada? Yes, I am. I'm pointing at a map of Canada. Ask me if I'm pointing at the west of Canada. Are you pointing at the west of Canada? No, I'm not. Ask me what part of Canada I'm pointing at. Kyle, what part? Okay, en voz alta, eh? Siempre en voz alta en casa. What part of Canada are you pointing at? I'm pointing at the east of Canada. I'm not pointing at the west of Canada. I'm pointing at the east of Canada. Ah, oh, yes. It's true. I'm pointing at the east of Canada. I'm pointing at the province of Nova Scotia. Ask me if I'm pointing with my finger or with my pen. Are you pointing with your finger or with your pen? I'm pointing with my finger. Ask me if I'm pointing with my left hand or with my right hand. Are you pointing with your left hand or with your right hand? I'm pointing with my left hand. Muy bien. We're out of time. Nos hemos quedado sin tiempo. Entonces, os dejo. Okay? I will leave you now. Thank you for listening. Muchas gracias. Y hasta la próxima. My name is Kyle. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>